Oh, and the Americas also battling it out. Wow. LA and New York instantly taken out. That didn't take them long at all. So this game's all about making the world go boom. I've got eight different nations building boom boom devices, and they're gonna make the earth explode until there's like no humans left. So this is a lot like DEFCON, uh, an updated version of DEFCON. There's a North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Russia, there's two Asias, and then a Pacific nation that acts as the Oceania. So at the start here, everyone's just trying to figure each other out. We've got fleets kind of maneuvering the entire globe to see what the rival nations have going on, because the end goal is basically to destroy all of these enemy cities. You want a bunch of uranium and a massive mushroom cloud to be over this city name. That's how you know you've won, and our species as a whole has lost, but we're not gonna worry about that. Now there are a few fleets meeting each other and they're going to destroy each other. Well, unless this Pacific fleet somehow finds a way to escape, they're fighting against East Asia and I think they're just gonna barely make it. And these small skirmishes are gonna be happening all throughout the map. This is actually happening everywhere. It's like a little secret submarine here by Russia in the Pacific. I love how easy it is to tell exactly where a majority of the population lies, especially in the US. If I'm gonna make anything explode first, you know it'd be Washington. Another little battle happening just off the Strait of Gibraltar, Africa is not allowing this uh, destroyer from Europe to get through the Mediterranean. The fleets are also doing drive-bys on these like missile defense systems. It's a SAM site actually. They're also going to try to destroy radar sites so that the enemy can't see as well. Russia already has a ton of these SAM sites. It looks like Europe is really far behind. They do have a lot of air bases though, which is important. I don't think I've ever seen a game define this region as West Asia, including South Asia and the Middle East. That's new. I feel like I've just unlocked a new Pokemon. On. East Asia also has a lot of things going on. It doesn't seem like there's many enemies coming at them. Russia seems to be somewhat peaceful in the Pacific. I think it's just kind of exploring everywhere. They've got a massive fleet moving around Papua New Guinea, but that's about it. South America sending their otakus to Japan, it looks like. A little reverse weeb invasion, I guess. Oh, and South America just destroyed a satellite protecting south of Mexico. I wonder how South America just completely annexed Central America and the Caribbean. You guys aren't supposed to be a part of South America. A little secret fleet just chilling off the coast of Canada in between Greenland. Something very scary about this. So keep in mind these numbers for now, because they're definitely going to change population in Berlin, 3.4 million GDP, 8%. That's one of those places you probably want to explode pretty soon, at least if you don't want Europe to succeed in, in life. London contributing 17% of the GDP, and a lot more population. Warhead production efficiency at 16%, so they're not doing it super fast. Not yet, at least, but that will get higher. Total population of North America is 51 million. Total population in South America, 72 million. But population doesn't really matter. It just means that you're just honestly going to be eating more casualties in this game. And so far, the nation continent with the most devices or weapons weapons seem to be East Asia. Someone's gonna want to break a lot of this stuff up, especially here. Gotta watch their secret weapon. <laughs> Love that North Korea has no lights in it. Accurate. If I was the US and I knew this scenario was playing out, I would bust out those aliens at Area 51 and see if they give us any technological advancements. Maybe they have like a ray gun that can uh, stop any sort of weapon incoming. I really think they're gonna need it because I don't think they got a whole lot of things going on right now. They're definitely kind of behind in technology. Everyone else is a lot more. Africa really investing in technology. They've got the most at 10. South America just casually doing another drive-by, but there's really nothing left in Mexico. They've taken out most things here, which means all of these Mexican cities pretty open to being destroyed. It won't be hard to do that. It seems kind of messed up. Is is that the plan, North America? I love how we can see how many aircraft are on this carrier. There's 20 in here. This is definitely not something you want to see roll up on you in the Pacific. Oh, they're going to get that one too. I don't even think the U.S. is trying right now. Or maybe they're focused on other things. They're also being sabotaged by East Asia a bit. Some things are kind of coming on, investigating Alaska, which is pretty big because this airbase is probably going to be the first thing that hits Russia and maybe Japan. So warhead production efficiency is at 100%, probably building a lot right now, but they're not going to use it just yet. There could be alliances going on underneath the surface, but I don't know about them. I guess we can just tell who doesn't have an alliance by like all the battles that are happening. Whoa, we've got a Russian sub and an East Asian sub about to roll up on the Pacific fleet that's just chilling here. It's like a game of battleship, I feel. Just gotta find yourself at the right place at the right moment. Bam! That took- that was nothing! This destroyer got rid of that submarine, like, instantly. I thought the submarine was gonna take out at least one thing. How'd they even see it? They must have a good radar system. Bam! Bad move, bro. Smart of the Pacific nation hiding a couple warheads right here, just off this island. Love the battle that's happening right here in the North Pole. There's actually small skirmishes happening everywhere. The globe view, to me, is so much better, but I can't tell exactly what's going on is easy. Like, I'll 
definitely miss something that's going on on the other side of the earth, but I, I don't know if I just like it. I, maybe it's worth it to be honest. There are now three fleets hiding by Antarctica, Africa, Europe, and West Asia for some reason, just to name a few. They're just chilling. And a South American destroyer just randomly going about trying to explore stuff. There's a little skirmish happening now actually in Russian mainland or Russian Siberia at least. Are we going to see a repeat of the Japanese Russian war? Because that didn't work out too well for Russia the first time. Russia seems to be really concerned with Europe, but not so much like with Asia. There's like barely anything over here. And we know they don't have alliance because clearly there was some fighting going on. I think the first nuke has dropped and it is in Europe and Russia. Why, of course, I'm not surprised. Who started this? Somewhere in this region is, is what happened. And I don't know if Russia's defenses is really going to be able to hold up. I mean, they're smashed in between two powers that are throwing this stuff at them. Oh, Berlin is getting obliterated right now, but so did St. Petersburg. Look at all that uranium just oozing out of Germany and a little bit out of London. I don't know if London did get hit. I think it did. Oh, uh, now Spain got hit a bit too. Massive cloud over St. Petersburg. All right, so they're dropping a whole nother level now. There's like the smaller ones, like the smaller nukes, and, and then there's like the Tsar Bomba, I think that. Oh, Africa's now involved. Africa's sending some stuff up this way. Oh, and the America's also battling it out. Wow. LA and New York instantly taken out. That didn't take them long at all. It's all green over here too. New York already only has 2 million people left in it. I think it started with 15 million. I'm definitely oofed because uh, there's less than a million people. I know I didn't survive that. Is South America even getting hit? Well, it did a little bit, but not hugely. Oh yeah, they got some green oozing from their cities too, just a bit. South America is also sending things across the Atlantic to go after like the Ivory Coast. They've got 20 minutes before the aliens invade and I think just destroy everyone just for entertainment purposes at this point. Russia Russia actually still looks pretty powerful. Look at all the weapons and devices they still have. And they don't look that green. It's hard to tell because Europe is green in this game. Can't tell like what's uranium fallout and what's just their normal territory. Casablanca is getting hit next pretty hard. So far, Africa is in the lead because I think they're pretty chill with West Asia. I don't see too much action happening with West Asia at all. North America is literally in the negatives at this point. They're doing so badly. South America has been bullying North America this whole game. I'm surprised. I don't even know if North America was even trying at this point. There's some battles happening in the Pacific, but not as much. I mean, most of the crazy... That was from the Pacific. Australia sending in some missiles now. They don't care about Kansas City. What? There's like less than a million people in pretty much every American city at this point, so they've definitely not made it. New York is now contributing to our GDP at 2.78%. So basically nothing. We've, like, our GDP screwed. That's one way to celebrate Ireland with just a big mushroom cloud. Nice and green for you. There's a lot of parts of Africa that hasn't been hit yet. One is is met oh i'm sorry i should not have said that okay well they still have some cities that are doing okay this one in like somalia ethiopia looks all right but they've definitely been hit at least once this is not as bad as egypt the, those pyramids are definitely gone yeah they won't stop with europe no one is giving europe a break say hello to the number one nation now the pacific nation or oceania i wonder if it's because like most of the world doesn't know new zealand exists like on most maps new zealand's not represented so they they forgot about it this is like the best place to hide your warheads so they are able to defend a little bit there are a couple of missiles coming in or some like fighter jets like it, it is stopping somewhat and that's like the best thing you can ask for at this point you're gonna get hit you just want to stop some of the incoming uh weapons devastation bam that's very hard to hit russia is doing a really good job of defending and so is western asia uh europe on the other hand has chosen the strategy of not defending. We're just going to take everything right on the nose. Global pollution is currently at almost 100%. So pretty much no living being can survive, I think, at this point. It's just the cockroaches. Like, people are around, but um, they're going to have a very painful last couple moments. The world is already ruined. The game is over. Country in the worst position, North America. Negative 800 points and only 15% of their population remain? Is that what that means? They only took out 5 million people. Can you imagine? Imagine, imagine only taking out 5 million people. Get good, bro. West Asia took out a lot, 15 million. They only have 24% of their population surviving. It seems like that's like the big category that decides everything. Europe didn't take out as many people, but they surprisingly didn't lose as many either. It looked like just a massive uh, green uh, aura, but they weren't too bad. They're still in the negatives. East Asia, I thought was doing a lot better, but it just turns out they weren't really trying. They weren't being very aggressive. I think they must have had like a peace treaty with Russia. Russia got fourth place.
place. They're the beginning of the positive nations in this score. They got a score of two. South America third, and just look at this. The number of warheads, 104. You know they've been holding that grudge against North America, and they just took it all out on us. Africa, who was in the lead, got second, and then the Pacific got first. I would assume they'd win a lot in this game, just because a lot of people forget about them. 68% remain, whereas they were still pretty aggressive, taking out a lot of other people. This score really shows how South America, Africa, and the Pacific nations really pulled out ahead around this time, and it was just a race between these three. I think the U.S. was able to just pull South America slightly further down, and then the battle was decided right here with the Pacific nations kind of popping up above Africa. Africa got so close, though, at this point, they almost passed them up. USA, like, lost all of its population pretty much in the very beginning of this game. Everyone starts at, like, 100% and then just dropped immediately, and then it was just a slow decline from there. How did these nations lose so much in the very beginning? Like, there were no warheads going off. Russia did so well. I think because they were just being so defensive, they had so many of those defensive missile forces. That's why, like, none of their population really got destroyed. At the very end, they started being taken out, though. I guess the strategy for the Pacific was just to launch as many things as possible. Just launch way more than everybody else so that no one has a chance of stopping it. I like the nuclear stockpile tab because it just shows how everyone started stocking up and then everyone uses it at once. But they didn't deplete themselves. They still had some and some rebuilt. Look, the U.S. rebuilt at the very end, but there just wasn't enough time on the board. Military might is nice and then the game begins and it just all drops. I'd like to simulate another one just kind of instantly and see if that is a normal way of winning. I really think the Pacific nations probably have a pretty nice advantage. So everyone has satellites this time around. Everyone has already built their defenses up and it's already time to launch what you got. Instantly, Russia has already decided they're going to take out Washington and all the Pacific. They, they really don't like us. South America might be teaming up on us a little bit here too. They're launching stuff all the way from Santa Cruz. This time Russia does not have the same defenses, so they're just getting lit up. This game has actually combined Asia into just South Asia, so there's no split between these two. I feel like Antarctica should have their own continent nation. They can do some stuff down here. They only have 6,000 population. That'd be hard to find in this big ice continent. How would you find your targets, honestly? And if most of the time when you launch, like, there's like a 90% chance you're gonna hit nothing. If you just take your stuff down there and hide, I think it'd be a good strategy. Japan, Korea, China, all green. USA's clearly launching. A oh, that's actually Russia, I think. There's a couple of United States fleets though in the Pacific that's really making it hard for them over here. The Pacific does not seem to be doing as well as they did in the other game. They're in last place, so I was wrong. All these Russian fighters just casually looking around. Look at all this. I don't know even know what they're doing, honestly. Are they battling other planes? Nope, they're peaceful for now. It'd be nice if like when a city got hit, the lights turned off. I mean, I guess they kind of do. The lights turn green. Did somebody just hit the Isle of Man? Who hits the Isle of Man? Honestly, that just seems like disrespectful. Do all that work against one island. Wow, you know what? The U.S. doesn't look too bad. It looks like I could have still survived. Los Angeles got 3 million people left. Russia clearly got distracted. They still have this massive fleet over here. The U.S. doesn't even mind either. They're going to allow them to keep that massive fleet. It must be distracted by other things. Maybe they're sending stuff to Europe. I don't know. Still looking for a city with zero population left. I'm, sur I'm sure that's possible. The lowest I've seen is like 300,000. Come on, there has to have been one that's just been taken to uh, the shadow realm. Surprisingly, in this game, the AI has decided to like cool it off a little bit as like global pollution gets up there. They're not dropping as many. They are still dropping some as we're seeing Sudan just got hit and now Egypt. So they're still doing a little bit. They're trying to be a little bit more um, globally conscious, environmentally friendly, if that's what you want to call it. Instead of getting destroyed in a couple months, they're deciding, hey, what if we took like a year before we destroy each other? Or maybe that's just because there's not as many humans around to hit the launch button. Sometimes you need a couple to like get those new codes. And if they all have like weird uh, growth second um, arms growing out of them, then it's going to be difficult to do that. You would think growing a second arm would make it easier to hit a button, but maybe not. I love how like this part of Australia is super green, but Nobody lives there. Like, doesn't at least 80% of their population live just in this thin strip? They got hit a little bit, but not too badly. Oh, they found New Zealand this time around. That's the problem for the Pacific nation. That's pretty much why they lost. If they didn't find that, hey, Indonesia's actually looking okay. Or look, specifically this island, not too much Indonesia. Philippines got hit hard, and I'm assuming that's because of Asia right there. So in this world, Pacific nation did bad. North America still did bad. Then it's Russia, South America, South Asia. Europe got second, and Africa got first. So they redeemed themselves for getting second last time. 
The Pacific Nation was the only one that got the negative score. Everyone else got a positive score. I'm guessing it's because they just took a lot of people out, maybe? This game was pretty instant. There was no buildup. So Russia, like, instantly lost, like, almost all their population. They didn't lose the most, though. That was the Pacific people. In terms of points gained, Europe took a huge lead in the very beginning, but then they kind of dropped the ball a little bit. They got too stagnant, too comfortable. Let me know down below if you want to see more of this game. I can come back. I was going to use this for the Mega Campaign, but it didn't come out soon enough. This would have been a, a pretty nice game to have used, but maybe one day for the future. We'll see. Thanks for watching. See you next time. As always, big thanks to the patrons. I'm about a nut. Zephy. Thick Boy 3000. The Glen Council. Ballin' Like Stalin. Stormtrooper 501. Scotty from Marketing. Patrick C. Palantino 1013. Manny Manny 74. Mac. M203 Brush. Luxembourg Lover. Fusion Wolf. Epi Nick. Elijah Senpai. Dalton D. Arian After Hours. Annie Keith. And Aaron F.